of your face is the moon. <laughs> but today we're having a celebrating a mass. It's not only a confirmation, it's the fifth Sunday of Easter. And the readings have an absolutely perfect message for you all today on your confirmation. And the perfect message is to remain in Christ. Jesus says, remain in you, in me, and I will remain in you. And in his, from 1 John, his commandment, Jesus' commandment to us all is this, that we believe in the name of the Son of Jesus Christ, the Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. And this is your marching orders. This is not an ending. This is a beginning. This is the beginning of your life as an adult Catholic. This is the beginning of you being empowered by the Holy Spirit to do what God asks of you. And we want you to feel that power, but it's hard to feel the power without practicing. There's no angel going to come down today and say, okay, the bishop is anointing you now. But still, you will be anointing. But so many people in our world today, people of your age, they don't have faith. They believe in things that they can measure. They believe in things that science tells them. I want to make sure you know that God is the author of science. Whatever wonderful things scientists do, they're simply discovering the wonders of God's creation that will continue on, giving us discoveries as the world matures. God is the author of science. But if you stay there, and you live your life only with things you can measure, then you'll never ask yourself the deeper questions, the deeper questions of, why? Why are we here? Why is there pain? What is heaven? These are things, what happens after we die? These are things that science cannot answer, only your faith can answer, and to delve into them is to live the spirit. So we want you to remain in Christ, remain on the vine, and understand that the Holy Spirit will guide you. But we cannot measure the Holy Spirit. We can only talk about it. So we use symbols. We use the symbol of fire, because fire transforms everything it touches, and the Holy Spirit will transform you as you learn. We use the symbol of wind. Because wind moves us, and the Holy Spirit will move you out of the rut of everyone does this to the path that God gives you. We use the symbol of air, because the Holy Spirit's all around us, but we cannot see it. We use the symbol of water, because it washes us clean, but also because we can never use up the Holy Spirit. We can just take a sip. And the Holy Spirit is so much greater than this. We use the symbol of the dove. Because the dove, you see in the Old Testament, is a symbol of hope. The Holy Spirit is your hope. And today, we use the symbol of oil. Oil is because you are holy people. You think of yourself as a holy person, a creation of God. And today, you will be anointed. You are anointed at your baptism. And your parents and godparents promised to raise you in the faith. So congratulations, parents and godparents. You've, got, you've taken them to this point, and hopefully you'll continue to accompany them as they go forward as adult Catholics. So we anoint you today in the Holy Spirit. And even though you can't see it or measure it, feel empowered. Okay, with that, uh, if you're ready now to receive uh, the confirmation, first we do the promises.
At your baptism, your parents and godparents made these promises for you, but today you make them for yourself by answering, I do. So follow what the baby. You stand outside the car at this point with, uh, with, the, with the sponsor. Okay.